Hi everybody and welcome back to Built Not Walk Campers. A uh, very long time coming. And I bet you're all wondering, where have I been? Right, and um, the biggest question on a lot of people's lips is, why did I disappear from YouTube? Now, I know YouTube has disappeared due to several reasons. And one of the biggest ones is negative comments and being slated. Unfortunately, that wasn't my reason. My reason uh, is sort of quite broad. Uh, the main thing was health issues. As I said in one or two of my previous videos, when I mentioned about the heavy breathing, obviously I've got a chest problem. Um, that is my COPD and my asthma. And one of the things for me was I became ill. Um, uh, serious enough, but there was many visits to the hospital um, many poorly days, especially over the past couple of months, it's been quite bad with the weather. Um, I'm putting it down to weather, but I'm being given some medication which I thought might have upset me, but I still don't know. I still don't, I haven't got to the bottom of that one. <coughs> As you can probably hear, I'm still not right now. So, um, that's the biggest and the main reason. Um, because if I'm not healthy, I can't produce videos. So, other reasons are obviously the workshop and work. Um, the workshop needed rearranging, things happened, we've had somebody come in to do work on their mans with us and a lot happened all at once. Um, so I had to sort of prioritise really and I always said I wanted to put a video out on a Thursday and a Sunday. So and it became quite difficult. And with that, I think I put too much pressure on myself to put two videos out, let alone just the one. So, <coughs> excuse me, um, you know, I had to sort of, again, prioritise things. So YouTube took a bit of a back seat. Obviously I have to earn money to live, protect my health, and um, not put so much pressure on myself. Now, and so with all that, I've also needed to plan to work forward um, with the channel. If you see me keep looking down, I've got my laptop here, and it's got all my notes on, so there's so many things there I would need to say, and my memory capacity is not that good. So, yeah, so I've needed to plan to move forward with the channel, and, you know, this has taken a lot of thought. It's taken a lot of energy, believe me. Um, in fact, to make some hard decisions surrounding the workshop, and they would all come to light eventually. And you will see a lot of changes in the workshop. When I'm there next, I will do a quick tour of the workshop because there's things have changed and I've had help with that, which is, you know, thanks to John from Cozy Adventures and also Ian, um, Ian and Anne, you might know them. If you know them, they've got the green prison bus conversion. Thanks to Ian, he came to the workshop and done some work as well. So without them, and even Nigel, Nigel from Quirky Drift, he came. So without these, pe these people being around me and helping me do things, you know, it, it wouldn't have happened. It's been down to those the most. Uh, so a great big massive thank you to those guys. Um, Another reason, again, videos didn't go out as much is, and I think the last actual full-on video, taking out the shorts that I do, was July, going back June, July. Now, and it was just prior to Van Life Festival was the last video, because I did do some video content at Van Life Festival. <clears throat> I did an interview, especially with somebody there, which I will put, be putting that video out soon. Now, that was a good video, and it was a good interview. Um, so that will be coming out. So yeah, so after that sort of things, it got quite busy for us. I mean, as everybody knows, Gorilla Grub is our food business and we're all the shows. So I think we're actually one of the only Van Life dedicated food traders out there. Um, so yeah, it's been, been a busy sort of six months, seven months, six months. So again, 
I don't want to make this video long drawn out why I disappeared from YouTube, just a few minutes ago. And most importantly, moving forward in 2023. And I bet that's a big question on quite a few people's lips as well. So moving forward, um, right, the videos are gonna be coming back. Definitely gonna be doing the videos, but I don't wanna be doing videos for the sake of making videos. So I don't wanna sort of put pressure on myself to put one or two out a week for the sake of making a video and just putting it out there. Um, I don't want you getting bored. I don't wanna be getting bored making something just for the sake of making something so there's something on the channel. That's not the right move for me. I've worked this out. Um, so I'll say videos won't be every week, but they may be, and they may be twice, three, four, five times a week. If the content's right, it's good, and I can get them out. So but when the videos come out, the content has got to be right, and the production of the content has got to be right as well. I've had some great advice off of YouTubers out there, and thanks to, um, I was chatting with uh, Phil, Geeky Phil, um, and I've also chatted to other content creators out there who produce regular videos, and some great advice from them. Thanks, you know, luckily they're my friends, so I do have good advice. So, if you're looking to do videos, or you're doing videos, go and see some of these creators that are doing sort of videos every week or doing some really good content, watch it on YouTube, go and get advice from them. So also, next year, there's some exciting new stuff happening. Um, we will be back at the shows, and um, I have a proposed trip planned with someone else, and we are gonna be producing a bit of a video series on that. That's all I'm saying. Um, but it's going to be majorly fun, um, very interesting, and again, this has taken a lot of planning, and we're planning this for three, four months. It's not something where we're just going to get in a van, take the cameras and film. Not as simple as that. We've planned this methodically, we've planned it, so again, the video production should come out really well. And again, we've had a lot of professional help with this as well. So, and that goes beyond sort of YouTube as we've got professional sort of, um, let's just say advice and help from TV crews, from TV channels, to make sure again, it comes out right and we do the right things. Um, so, last year, if you remember, a lot of you remember me, I was DJing alongside Neil from Urban Van Life at Van Life Eats. From that, uh, it's created quite a buzz for myself, and I'm Van, and I will be DJing at a lot of events this year, or quite a few events, a lot, it's quite a few. Um, I'm DJing at the International Camp Van Show. Um, there's another one at Stratford called, called Camper Jumble. Um, so people can camp the night before, put on a disco for them there. I'm also back at Van Life Eats with Neil again this year. We will be putting on something very special for everybody. And um, I'll go into the events a little bit later anyway, so I'll, I'll go on to that in a while. Um, I'm also involved in another major new event. Those who keep an eye on, you, on Facebook will see a sneak peek come out of um, the event that's coming up, Van Life and Overland a Celebration. I've had a lot to do with this. I'm involved in it quite heavily. Um, so, again, we'll talk about that a little bit later in the video. Um, again, there's big plans for the workshop, which will unfold over the year. Um, big plans going forward with the workshop. Um, I'm not gonna go into too much. Don't wanna disclose what we're doing, what's happening. But by the end of the year, there'll be massive changes. So, and the main thing before I go on to next year and the events we're doing next year, um, 2023, I need to, beyond anything else, I feel I need to look after me to enjoy van life and to look after the channel and look after you guys. So, um, right, this video will be going out 
very soon. So, and just to let you know, I will be putting a separate video out on the events for next year. So keep an eye out for that one. Um, I will be listing all the events that we're doing so far, what we're doing at the events, and basically another exciting new year. I've been doing these events for years now, and do you know what? I love them. I love all you people. It's it's everybody there. I call you my family. Um, you know, people say oh, your friends, your friends, your friends. No, people there are family. And those that know, you know. Anyway, that's enough of this. This has just gone over 10 minutes anyway, so I'm gonna sign off for now. Um, excuse me, I hope you're staying safe. I hope you're staying well. Most of all, stay very happy. And I will see you all in a field in 2023. Bye for now. Thank you.